was coverage controversial then? I mean, did you were you feeling pressure in regard to balance? Um, no, not really, because I think we were pretty balanced. Mm -hmm. I think we were pretty balanced. So, so the press at that point was not an issue. Wasn't it? it didn't become an issue until uh, '68, '69. Right, Nixon. When Nixon and the Nixon White House, John Mitchell, the Attorney General, mm -hmm. uh, indicated that they were going to subpoena journalists for their state of mind, their notes, their outtakes, their contacts, and so forth. Mm -hmm. And uh, one day in December '69, I had Anthony Lucas of the New York Times come over to my house for brunch one Sunday morning, and I said to him, uh, Tony. If they subpoena me, I'm going to refuse a subpoena. I'll go to jail first. I will not testify. I'm not taking a subpoena. It's against the, against the, every <clears throat> yardstick we've used in journalism, be it constitutional or bordering on constitutionality. I'm not going to do that. They don't need our information. They can get that off the air, or they can do it by other means. They can really find it by other means, and we shouldn't be in the role of being cops for them for the government. I still feel that way. I think so, that. well, why don't you talk about the formation of that committee? Well, I said to Lucas, I said, so there's my attitude. I said, and I think our bosses, meaning the station managers, or people in charge who were very fearful of um, government intervention, suspension of licenses and so forth. I said, I don't think they're going to help us. So we had a former committee of reporters to fight this whole question of subpoenas. Well, that's a good idea. So he, we divided up the country. He, some of the West, me, some of the East, West and East, whatever it was. And we got 35 reporters together, gathered in Washington, D.C. And a law professor at Georgetown University named Samuel Dash Nobody had heard of at that time until much later when he became chief prosecutor in the Watergate uh, investigations. He arranged for us to have a venue at Georgetown University. And the 35 of us, or 33 of us, I think it was, who gathered that meeting is where we formed the committee itself and just recently had the 37th anniversary. And we have seen to it that no journalist threatened with a subpoena in this country ever has to pay for legal costs. We would provide the legal costs, the pro bono. Uh, contributions of lawyers who are interested in First Amendment rights.